Ewan McGregor's penchant for stripping off in films reveals just one side of the actor, who shows as much commitment to his off-screen roles. Born in Scotland in 1971, he lives in London with his wife, French production designer Eve. In 2006, the couple's two daughters, Clara Mathilde and Esther Rose, were joined by four-year-old Mongolian orphan, Jamayan. No doubt the couple's decision to adopt was fostered by Ewan's involvement with UNICEF, for whom he is an ambassador. On a field trip to raise awareness of AIDS in Malawi, he saw firsthand the devastation that the disease has wrought upon Africa's children. Um, four, four children live in this in this room. The, the eldest boy here is seven, 17, he's having just had an epileptic fit. And then there's the 11-year-old boy, uh, probably a six-year-old boy and a baby. And, and they live in this room, which is as grim as you could ever possibly imagine. As well as his awareness-raising efforts, Ewan has also designed a limited-edition mug available from the UNICEF website. Proceeds from sales go to the charity. Ewan's dedication to good causes is balanced against a hedonistic streak that sees him hooning around the world on a motorbike with childhood friend Charlie Borman. The pair hatched a crazy plan to embark on a four-month transcontinental odyssey in 2003 that became a television series and a book. The pair set off again in May 2007. Ewan's obsession with motorbikes also led him to narrate the world's first documentary about the MotoGP World Championships. Rocking up to the Quasette at the Cannes Film Festival to support the film, he was rather taken by one of the gleaming stars. I'll have this one. Yeah? Yeah. Since then, his vocal talent has been in increasing demand. He recently gave voice to a hapless, undersized wood pigeon who dreams of joining the elite homing pigeon service delivering messages behind enemy lines. But he proved he's just a big sucker for his kids when revealing why he took on the part in the first place. I wanted to make a, an animation that my children would enjoy.